Good morning! Yeah, sometimes I just watch something to wake up. Sadly enough, that wasn't just a segment. Normally the Tonight Show just posts a segment. I thought, hey, Timberlake and uh, film could be nice. Actually, it's the whole show, it's 41 minutes, but I have to go to work now, so I can't finish it. I will be changing the water on the weekend. And the other one is a bit crazy, I, I don't know. I think it's the big aquarium and the wall in between. <sighs> Maybe I have to put him back in a smaller tank. I don't know. So, let's go to work. Hello. I know. The poof is great today. This is actually how I woke up, strangely enough. That means that it's almost time for a haircut, guys. Because this will not obey much longer. And also, I see grey hairs. Or silver. Doesn't matter how you want to call them. They're there. And they're here to stay, probably. I'm also very happy that, so far, majority of the male family members uh, all have hair. So I'm not worried about that anytime soon. I would actually not really know how to respond if I would turn bald. I guess it will just own up to it and just like keep it short or something. I would never go for an overcome. That's the dumbest and stupidest thing ever. I ordered two bagels, but they only gave me one and I think I only paid one, which is awkward. Well. Oh no, it's Ting Ting's last day today before she is actually giving birth in the next two weeks, I assume. And we have to say goodbye, but now she has disappeared. Hey Ting Ting, let's make a photo. Let, like, shall this angel? Uh, no, not with this. Yes, please, yes, please. So um, we have the difference when, when, you, when you gave birth, then we can see. Okay. How do you do that? I don't know. We, we just stand here. Wait, come here. Yeah. Look That's how perfect. big my belly is. You just do this. Okay? Mm -hmm. oh, I don't even want to do that. It looks fat and ugly. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm still... My no. butt is still bigger than yours. No. <laughs> Did you see that? Look at me. <laughs> this is so cute. Look at that. Look at that. Come no. on, my butt is still bigger than yours. No, yes, you, it is. Can't you tell? Can't you tell this? Your butt is tiny. Do you know how much I weigh now? No way. Still less than me. No. I'll kill you if you are bigger than me or heavier than me. I am heavier than you. No. Oh, yeah. Are you on the 70? 170? I just started losing weight. I'm just under 170. Ugh. Okay, then we're in the same weight. Okay, let's say goodbye on camera. Uh, bye, Dingo. Bye. Ding. Good luck with your birth. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing your kid out of the belly. Yeah, just get her out of here. <laughs> Is having an overcome one of those old school things, by the way? Because, like, here, I wouldn't know anyone. And, no, I wouldn't know anyone that actually has something like that. Most people just own up to it nowadays. I think it is actually sort of a thing of the past to be um, that vain about it. I mean, technically speaking, I'm not complaining since I love my hair. Uh, at least I do nowadays because I, I, I used to hate it for multiple reasons, of course, and I've told you in the vlog, so you should know it by now. Okay, I sometimes say the poof is great. The poof does what it wants. I have no control over it whatsoever. The only way to keep it down is to basically murder it. Cut off the head. But it's just like that two-handed monster that will just grow back additional heads and stuff. I don't know which mythical creature that is, but I think it's it's not Medusa because that's the one that freezes you to stone. I don't know. There is a... Let me know in the comments because I'm too lazy to Google it right now. Which creature was it again that if you cut it in half it will just grow back? I think it's a snake type thing though. If I think about that, that's actually kind of scary. I would not know how to handle that stuff. Just think about it for a second. I'm pretty sure that 99% of us is not prepared for anything. We joke about the zombie apocalypse, but we're not even close to being part of the survivors. Maybe a day, but the majority of us will be part of the undead horde. Just, just admit it. We just have to accept that fact that we're not gonna make it. If that really happens, like, Europe is gonna be fucked anyways because no one has weapons here. And the people that have weapons 
we'll make sure that they will keep those. And this is the reason why we don't have any cool movies happening. Because if I would see a movie in the Netherlands where weapons and stuff like that is a thing, I cannot take that movie serious. Because we simply don't have weapons here. No one has a gun. And people who do have a gun don't really show it because they're not really allowed to have them. Yeah, you can, you can probably join uh, like a club or something and that's it. I don't think that many other people have them other than criminals. But we don't want to think about them. Hey, go back, go back. Did you want to see the picture of the yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? What is it? Very radar listener for enemy aircraft. That now is... we have radar so we don't need this guy anymore. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Anything else that's funny? Awesome? Uh, um, there's rat catchers. Okay. I like this giant gun. Where is like, he from? He looks so European. Yeah. Ah, he does. Lamp lighter. Yeah. Lamps used to have to be lit. Yeah. Milkman, no milkman. more milkman. Long driver. Yeah, okay. Switchboard operator. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, why? What are no. they doing? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> I'm actually in the perfect spot here. We don't get earthquakes. We don't have hurricanes. Maybe some water problems here and there, but then again, like, I'm Dutch, and the Dutch are pretty much the people that invented anything to come with water. And technically speaking, I live underwater for the majority of my life. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty good here. If something would happen, I'm pretty much fucked. I'm pretty sure you are too. Just give it a couple of seconds, a minute or two, and leave me a comment telling how fucked you are if you really had to survive if something happens right now. Better yet, just say, I'm fucked, if that is the case. It's the first time that we are all leaving at the same time. It's Friday, there goes the look. Mike is over there, and I'm leaving now. Beautiful sunset tonight. I can't really show you. I hate that you actually can't portray sunsets like they are. It always looks different. The colors are different, the feel is different, but it looks gorgeous.